Hello, thanks for watching this short video focused on the new QuickBooks Online and how do you apply a discount or a deposit to a sales transaction. So in order to turn the discounts and deposits on so that the fields actually show up on a particular transaction, I'll use an invoice for example, you go up to the gear icon which is really the tools menu. It's to the right, you see my mouse, to the right of the company file name and then you'll see under settings company settings and that'll bring you to preferences now at the time of this recording you know you might be watching this three or four months from now and the preference window probably has changed because it's kind of an older uh, quickbooks online looking window um, and it'll it'll be a newer user interface for the preferences that will match all the other windows however getting there is going to be the same place right so gear icon company settings and once you're here go down to sales form entry Scroll down a bit, and you'll see. I mean, you'll see it here. It says deposits discount. So I'm going to check deposits, and this if you allow customers to put deposits, select deposits, place the deposit field at the bottom of the invoice, and then discount. Selecting discounts lets you apply a discounted percentage or a flat discount amount to any estimate invoice, sales receipt, refund receipt, or credit memo. You can even choose the discount account you want to go, and I'm just going to go to discounts given, but you choose your own chart of accounts there, and then go ahead and click save. And as that saves. Now let's go just to the quick create icon and click invoice. And we're just going to create an invoice. And this will be for Amy's Bird Sanctuary. And we did some gardening there. Let's say it was about, I don't know, $150 of work. And as you scroll down, you can see, you know, there's the taxable uh, item if it is taxable. You know. And then discount percent will do you know, a 10% discount. And then a deposit. You know, she gave me $10 up front. And I'm going to go ahead and click Save and Close. I'm going to let that save. It tells me it's saved. Then we'll go into Customers and Amy's Bird Sanctuary. Let's go into her Customer Center. And you'll see, here's the invoice that I created. Let's go ahead and drill into that. And have the discount and the deposit on it. Right? And then we'll click under More, the Transaction Journal. Which will bring up, you know, the report of what was debited and credited. So the discounts given, that was debited. And, of course, uh, the deposit went to undeposited funds. Uh, you know, which then I can deposit into the bank. So that's the deposit. And then, of course, the credit for the revenue. So that is how you handle discounts and deposits uh, when you're using the new QuickBooks Online. Remember to turn those two preferences on and then have at it from there. Hope this is helpful. Have a great day.